13 Action News Update sponsored by Bell Medical. I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News Update, the so-called Sandy Valley Fire is nearly halfway contained tonight. Video shows crews battling the nearly 1600 acre fire earlier today. Investigators say someone started the fire while they were target shooting. Human cost fires are happening more often on public lands here in Southern Nevada. The Bureau of Land Management says about 97% of fires have been started by people this year. Target shooting, off-road vehicles and campfires are some of the reasons why. Target shooting is illegal on public lands controlled by the BLM. The Garden Las Vegas is celebrating its one year anniversary. There was a prideful red carpet event at the LGBTQ bar this evening. The bar's owner says Having opened in the middle of the pandemic proves the community is supportive and strong. I was looking for a place where I can plant a seed and expand and create a little neighborhood so we can have something to be proud of here in Las Vegas for the LGBTQ plus community and create different little bars and different synergy with all the restaurants and the other bars that are, that are here in the Arts District is the perfect place to do that. The red carpet event was hosted by the Ebony Enchantress Simone, season 13 winner of RuPaul's Drag Race. The garden is located in the Arts District. Danny. We are really heating up in the weather department this weekend. A string of below average days this week, but back to the triple digits for your Saturday. Waking up to 70s, mid 90s by midday, a whole lot of sunshine ahead. And Saturday, wind speed is calm, but the breeze does pick up on Sunday as high temperatures increase from 104 to 108. We're up to 110 on Monday as that excessive heat warning goes into effect. Record heat expected for the rest of next week. The excessive heat warning doesn't expire until Friday. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTN. Feet.com.